Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my dick. Science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch dancers from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, no. it's unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that character. Freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement. Just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 159 pounds. Fighting out of Marietta, Georgia, USA, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 140 California, Bruce the Dragon. Right, Give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. Thank you. 
Looking to land the right just out of range. Out of range with that one. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike, and he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Kick to the body by Luke. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, head kick. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Liver kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge flush. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Good punch. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Nice right in. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh! Oh, straight right! <laughs> 30 seconds now to go in round one. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Landed that one. And these guys are throwing back and forth. And he's looking for that left hand. What a round. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, go, second go. round underway. Nice straight punch. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Finish. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. It landed some nasty strikes. To connect it. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, one got through. That kick was blown. just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be over the critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. 
What a jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make them pause. I believe the jab is working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishing. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was upset. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Protect your face. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Big kick. Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there. Shades of DC against John Jones in the second meeting. I mean, great job of getting in close and throwing that uppercut from a great angle. You're just going to stonewall me on that, John Oh, Jones. I love it. I hit him with a ton of them. Mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you, Johnny. Bones. It was one of my nicest and most fun moments. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head, the wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, here we go with our next round. This guy has proven to be a very difficult man to take down. If you were in there trying to get him to the canvas, what are you trying to do? I mean, you got to just slow it down because he doesn't even allow you to get started. Right. He, if you try to take a shot, he just crawls so effectively that you're done. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice leg kick land. Nice kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. More than one, more than one. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice job of hiding that head kick. the takedown, no problem. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He lands flush with that right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but this a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. And he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Lee's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. You are battering that nose. Liver kick. All right, so big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish. Let's go fight! 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Can't take many of those, you better check. Liver kick, if you... His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, big punch lands. Relax, relax. Keep your Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Just misses with the left hook. How about that chin? Huge block there. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starting to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Looking to land the leg kick now. Big punch lands. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Whiffs on the right hand. Slips the left hand. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice jab by Lee. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, well-timed and placed overhand by Lee. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Nice head kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big kick lands. his feet. Get right here. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Big kick lands. Just missed with the left there. Nice body. Superman punch. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Started to lose his opponent, limping a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. That's a big strike right there. And he defends yet another takedown. Seemingly every takedown attempt that has been tried has been stuffed. So the round is over. Both fighters had their moments, but you see the cut on the eyebrow, and that is not getting any better, ladies and gentlemen. That is getting worse. It continues to open up. The blood is trickling down into the eye. Certainly, if you're going to have a cut, that is not the ideal location.
fifth and final round. Nice strike. are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Nice leg kick. Play tonight. Kicks back to back. He truly makes up the target. Tight to hold. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be. Oh! Under three minutes now to go round five. Raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. It's nice to punch here. Big body kick lands. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Behind that leg kick. He misses with the right hand. Shoot. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Beautiful body kick. Well, the body have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Misses again with a right punch. <laughs> Less than a minute to go to decide this one. It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. What a fight!
how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity 